Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new Art Book Review. So today, we're going to be looking at Ashley Wood's uh, Glitter Sausage, right? Let's see, an 11 by 17 collection of drawings and a few paintings, okay? Uh, created for San Diego Comic-Con 2013, right? Um, if you guys know anything about the Ashley Wood uh, reseller's market, you know that um, a lot of these books do, they're very expensive, okay, and they get they get really, really pricey, right? Um, and that's why I want, I'm really glad to say that um, this book right now, um, I was able to get it for, uh, what do you call it, base price, right? Because um, I think uh, I went to IDW.com and it was able, I was able to uh, purchase this book uh, for base price, right? Which is never heard of because they had they had one they had one more left, right? And nobody picked it up. Nobody knew about it, right? And I saw this book on uh, what do you call it eBay for a lot of money, right? So it's just like um, you know the miracle like a miracle aligned, right? And I was able to get this book for a really really nice price, right? Um, but before uh, before we start the video, uh, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Right, uh, check out my prints in the link below. Check out my new Patreon in the link below. Um, but with all that said, um, let's get into this. All right, so you guys know the, uh, you know the standard, right? It's a, uh, it's an Ashley book. It's an Ashley Wood book, right? So you guys know, uh, it's gonna be sexy, right? There's gonna be some sexy stuff in there. So be aware, right? If you're not a fan of Ashley Wood's work, right? You don't know what it's about. You gotta know, uh, this shit is a. Uh, very very not safe for work all right so with that you know be prepared right <clears throat> all right um as you guys notice this book is a uh, humongous okay look at that huge okay all right so this is uh, 11 by 17 right so 11 and 11 this would be 22 inches wide right and obviously 17 inches tall, right? But this is a very, very large book. So you can see how my, my whole arm can like take up this space, okay? So um, if my audio sounds a little weird and I sound far away, it's because my phone is really, really far away from the from the actual, uh, you know, capture because I had to bring it back so much, right? <clears throat> but yeah. Um, let's see. So we got a little war image right here. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Like I was said before, um, this was meant for San Diego Comic-Con in 2013, right? So the fact that I got this book, um, I got it last year, is uh, it's kind of crazy, right? It's, re 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 it's really hard to find old Ashley Wood stuff that's not extremely, extremely highly priced, right? Because that's, you know, he hasn't, he has kind of like an aftermarket thing going, right? Which is really, really nice. <clears throat> but yeah, awesome. So let's, uh, let's go in here. All right, so we're starting off hot, dude. All right, here we go. Oh, got him. Oh, we got a, we got a speedster going right here. Here we go. We have a Lastronaut. Here we go. Love is a criminal, is a cr crim anal star is a criminal star there you go um obviously right if you guys you know know about ashley wood you'll know about the astronaut right and her really nice uh astronaut office uh outfit right and the um display of the vagu okay right um yeah dude beautiful vagu right here right um the composition all leads right here you know what i mean um, and I love the contrast between, like, the complicated, right, very, um, you know, mechanical parts of this drawing, right, versus the s simplicity of the flesh, right? Very, very good contrast right there. And you know what? As always, sexy, okay? Here we go. Very similar. Lastra Love, right? Um... Is this last shot? I don't think this is last shot because her haircut's different. But you know, it's just one of his characters that he he likes to draw, right? Um, on top of an, another another head right here, very nice, right? 
Um, you get a little bit of that drip, okay? You get the vagu action, right? You get the uh, mechanical on top, flesh on the bottom. Very sexy, very nice. You know, Ashley Woods work always super great. And you know what, dude? Uh, I gotta appreciate the 11 by 17 aspect ratio for these because um, this is a big, big piece, right? So these could all, you know, if you if you cut these out, these could all be posters, right? So that's that's a really really nice aspect about this book, right? That these are huge drawings. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Fuck not fight okay sex over violence right um i agree with that message dude okay i agree with that you know uh people should fuck instead of uh instead of killing each other right that's that's a very universal message right um if you guys um if you guys read saga if you guys read that comic uh you'll know that one of the central messages right that the the opposite of war is not peace the opposite of war is sex Okay, all right, because uh, destruction require the opposite of destruction is creation, right? And peace doesn't necessarily mean creation. You know, it creates, it facilitates the um, the ability to have creation, right? But not necessarily the the action itself, right? So yeah, um, definitely, definitely appreciate this, right? Because. Uh, it's funny because like I feel like in a lot of American media, right, violence is just fine, but like anything sexual is like like oh, how dare you, dude, right? So you could like you know obviously this argument's been made a many million times, right? But like um, it's funny how like you could you could show a kid, right, like The Walking Dead and having like a zombie have the, like their heads like you know caved in, right? But um, two people uh, banging, dude, nah, get out of here. You know what I mean? Um, and not necessarily like they show everything, but like, you know, just the fact that they're banging it all, you know what I mean? So, it's strange how our culture, uh, value, like, values violence over, you know, uh, sexual content, right? <clears throat> yeah, unlike the Japanese, right? Who they, they like both, right? <clears throat> Here we go, so, this is, we got a, yeah, we got a beautiful, bodacious woman, right? Um, and, uh, a little robot here. And, you know, I'm sure, dude, like, like all of us, dude, uh, we want to be that robot, okay? We want to be sitting on this giant woman's lap, okay, and going, yay, you know, right? Um, I want to be that happy. I want to feel that content. I want to feel that safety, right? But we don't live in that kind of world right now, right? So, all we have is this beautiful image, okay? And that, for, for right now, we'll have to do. Beautiful. I love the way he does the... The negative shape, um, what do you call it, heels, right? He doesn't draw the heels, he just draws the negative shape of the heels. Very, very nice. And sexy. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Um, so we got a beautiful woman with a bodacious booty, uh, riding this, uh... Uh, like kind of like a hovercraft motorcycle, right? Like a floating motorcycle. And again, you know, it's the it's the contrast between uh, a lot of technology versus you know an ass, right? A beautiful ass, very good, very nice. Let's see, a modern girl member. Okay. So I guess she's a modern girl, right? <clears throat> there you, go. you know, I wonder if. Uh, I wonder if women like Ashley Wood's work, right? Because, like, I know there's a lot of guys who like the, the work, obviously, you know? But, like, I'm like, I'm like, I wonder how it does with women. You know what I mean? Is there a lot of Ashley, fe like, female Ashley Wood fans? You know what I mean? Because, um, I'm sure they're out there, right? I'm sure they're out there. Let's see. A question answered. Okay. So they have, like, little titles right here. Or, or little informational bits. So here we go. It's very simple. The equation, the equation is not wrong if you do not know the answer. Let's see. I guess. There you go. Or a ch or a chance at love. Okay. Let's see. Walking on eggshells 
It just feels okay. Yeah. That's, I, I, I don't know, that kind of spoke to me in a way that's like, you know, um, like, it's like, uh, like, you don't ever really know the, an like, the, the, uh, the answer of, like, you know, like, something like, you know, life, right, and your path, right, and you never know if your equation is right or wrong, you know what I'm saying, right, um, and, like, you're like, oh, is, is my method the right way? Right? But the thing is, is that we never know if it's the right way because we don't know the answer. We don't know what the, we don't know if the, uh, the, the result will turn out the way we want, right? So, in a way, right, um, anything can happen. You know what I mean? Like, you never know, basically. Right? That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm kind of getting from this image, right? So yeah, dude, you know, you get some sexiness, you get some life lessons, you know what I mean? You get a little bit of ethereal ass, dude. You know, it's a, it's a good product right there. Here we go. Uh, we are modern girls tattoo. Okay, so. Um, I guess this is made for a tattoo design. I don't know if anybody actually like tattooed themselves with this, right? If you did, you know, leave it in the comments. That would be cool. All right. Here we go, 3A staff. Alright, so these are the people who are working for 3A, which was his, uh, his company, right? And they, like, dude, they're, they're like, oh, dude, <laughs> you know, like, we all thirsty, dude, we all want that, we, want, we all want that juice, that slurp, dude, that drip, okay? That hot, that hot drip coffee, dude, right? And you know what, dude, this, uh, this might as well be the, the fans as well, okay? Because this, this is, this is me, uh, for Ashley Wood's work. Okay, when I see his artwork, I'm like, Ugh, I just start drooling, okay? Like, right, because I want it, dude. Let's see. Go. 71740. Okay. So we have this kind of cool boat that's been beached, I believe, right? Or it's just kind of just like sitting on like a very small part of the boat right um and we have a, a woman obviously and she has this kind of she has a cross on her back so maybe she's from some kind of nurse who's uh come to repair the thing a harbor medic yeah yeah so she's trying to heal this boat i guess right and with the sigh the nabbler was locked Anyway, fuck it, the end. Okay. Nabbler's last day. Let's see. So I guess. Oh, I can see Nabbler right here. He's like, oh, no, I'm stuck in this cabin. Yeah. I'm sure this has to do with some kind of comic um, that, that uh, Ashley Wood made, right? And uh, obviously, Nabbler isn't gone, you know, because he makes recurring appearances later on, so, uh, I'm sure Nabbler is doing just fine. He's doing just fine. Yeah. He's not locked away forever, don't worry, guys. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh, shit, it's the real... Removalist. Okay. Bring. Bring mir das Fleisch. Fleisch. Das Fleisch. There is a new zombie in town. Okay. Removalist toy app. Um, I don't know what remo the removalists are. Right? I don't know if that's a thing or if that's just like uh, a thing that Ashley Wood made, but yeah, that's cool. Right? We got some zombos, right? Um, we got this kind of like floating brain thing. That's pretty cool. Um, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Fräulein Schlagen says, Um thanks. Um thank you. Thanks for making the one hour a smashing success. There you go. Right. Uh, 
Um, I'm assuming this is the brain slash guts thing that's just like wrapping around his head, right? And his arm is like turning into like smoke, I believe. Like, I don't know, he miss he's missing his arm. But yeah. He seems happy, so, you know, good for him. Here you go. Thank you, Lego. Thank you, see? Very nice. Is this, is this part of this? No. Alright, so we just have some, some leaves, some brush, right? Maybe like this kind of tree trunk right there, very nice. Okay. Let's see, we have an environmental scene, and we got some, uh... We got some like hazmat street guys or some shit, with like the, the hoodie that has no shoulders, right? Um, yeah, you, you've seen kind of this, this type of design before, you know, like the kind of like triangular hooded figure, right? Uh, that's cool. That's nice. Nothing too, uh, crazy about it, right? We have some, some things in the background, whatever, you yeah, know, it's cool. It's a cool drawing. Let's see. So we have, so we have some... I'm assuming are like flashbangs, right? You have some flashbangs and uh, one of those um, sides that uh, that are that that uh, like that are throwable. You know what I mean? Like the nin the the nin the ninja weapon. Right? Um, I didn't know that the chain was tied to the top. I guess that works because when you when you yeah, because if you pull it, you want the blade like, away from you, right? Because if you pull it this way, then there's a chance that the blade will, you know, cut you, right? So that's, that's kind of, that's kind of neat. I, di I didn't know that, right? Um, yeah, I'm like, I've never, I've never seen pictures of the real thing, so I'm like, do, do they have the chain at the bottom or at the top? Yeah, because, like, you know, the bottom would make sense, right? But then, now that I think about it, you know, like, what if you miss the catch and then you just end up cutting yourself, right? So, like, the top, that might be a good answer to that, right? Hmm. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, right? Let's see. Uh, Nage TK Ab. Okay. So, I'm sure this is for one of his, uh, his, one of his figures, right? That, you know, I don't have or really know about because I don't really collect Ashiwood figures, right? Um, except for the, the muse here, which is right here, you know, very beautiful, right? She's a little dusty, you know, but that's okay. Why frog? There you go. Yeah, this is a cool image. Um, I guess it, it must be the same character, obviously. Um, and they're decapitating a robot. And the robot's like, oh, bravo. You've decapitated me. Not many have done that in, their, in my day. Uh, Nage TK ad. Okay. See, is it Nage or Nage? That's the thing. I don't know. It's spelled like Nage, but I think it's Nage because I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese character. Okay. Uh, remember the Geist. Okay. TK Illustrated. Yeah, just another um, another thing for the. Uh, the TK thing, right? Um, I think... No, 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 TK, I think that's for Tomorrow King, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think these are Tomorrow King um, characters right here. Yeah. yeah. I never I never read Tomorrow King, so I don't really know that much about it. But, uh, yeah, that's for those Ashley Wood fans, right? Here we go, Happy Ween. We got a beautiful woman, right, riding a... Uh, a uh, big pumpkin, right? A big jack jack o' lantern, right? And you guys know me, dude. Uh, anything Halloween, dude? I love it. Okay, I love the Halloween aesthetic, right? Um, so yeah, having a beautiful woman on top of a jack o' lantern, dude, that's good enough for me, right? Very nice. Not much, not much to it, but very sexy, right? Very nice. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. This one's called Machine Date. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's let's try to decipher what we got over here. We got some legs, right? Uh, we got a we got an ass, right? Um, I don't think any vagu, right? But I think this woman, she's kind of like you know lay, you know she's strewn about, right? And she's kind of like you know twisting her hip, right? You can see a little bit of her face right here, a little bit of the the the, the boobays right there, you know. And you have uh, Nabbler, right? Um, you know, just c coming in, having a good time, right? They're both having a good time because you know how Nabbler treats the ladies, right? He treats them right, you know, treats them good. Very beautiful. Let's see, and there's some uh, Russian lettering right here, 19, uh, 1891. Don't know what that means, but whatever, man. You know, it's just part of the Ashley Wood aesthetic, right? Um, I like the. I like the composition he's got going on right here because it's like it's all like it all like it, you know it's it's far reaching, right? But then it like you know kind of focuses to right here, right? You know what I mean? The 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 um, the re the uh, focal point being you know Nabbler his his eyes and the dress right here, you know, like that. To, to me, I, I shoot to the dress first because of the, the strong white out. Very, very nice. Very cool composition, right? Because, uh, you know, you gotta break the rules, right? Not every composition is supposed to be like, oh, dude, it's on a third, and, you know, right? Sometimes the composition can be like, you know, like, uh, I wanna go so far out where, like, like, 90% or, like, like you know, 50% of the, the, the page is not even covered, you know, and it's all concentrated right here uh, on the top right. Very nice. Message to a tomorrow king. There you go. Message from our queen. Run, little TK. Mummy will be waiting tomorrow. Okay. Um, so obviously, this is uh, a reference to the Resident Evil 8 lady. Okay, being a giant woman, right? Um, yeah, and she's just like, you know, get out of here. We'll, we'll, we'll find you later, dude. Right? Let's see. And it says. DIY, so, so do it yourself, I guess. Um, but yeah. Uh, got giant, gorgeous woman, right, on top of a big robot, right, that's Ashley Wood, you know, to a T, right? And uh, you can see right here with one of the wires, it becomes a little, little, little pee pee, right? Because you know how it is, right? This is Ashley Wood. Very nice. Uh, something that you guys are probably gonna get, but I do because you know I'm literally looking at the book. Is that you get all this really great texture right here because it's so big? You it's it's almost like you're seeing like the real, actual page in front of you, right? So that's really really nice. Here we go. Uh, DIY nine. Okay, so present the original Mortis Queen MK one. So obviously we have some kind of like pipe thing, right? Like a pipe joint. And um hmm. Hmm. I feel like this like doesn't this look like hairy to you? You know what I mean? Like this this kind of rendering right here. I feel like it's supposed to be like like hairy right here and then um you got a little bit of goo coming out of this end right so mm -hmm. i think there's an, an there i think there's an analogy being made okay that's, that's that's really what i'm gonna say dude i think there's an analogy being made right uh and i'm like is this the vagu or the 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 boot hole right um, is this like the is this the boot and this is the vagu or is this the vagu and this is the boot right? Um, you know it's a it's a it's a mystery right? It's just you know an Ashley Wood thing right? So it's up it's up to interpretation right? So uh, whatever you guys think it is, uh, you guys let me know right? Because I'm I'm going back and forth. I don't know which one is which right? But I think there's definitely an analogy being made. Here we go. Nicker Gradle. Well, that's a 
That's a that's a hard word to say, right? Knicker cradle. Or is it Knicker Cradle? Yeah, Cradle. There we go. So yeah, we got a fine lady right there. Well, obviously he's got the 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 bende on top, right? Or some kind of um, shading thing on top. Let's see, put some white out. Got a bunch of floating heads around him, so I'm like, is it like, and these they're all like they're all like smiling. It looks like they're laughing. So is it like a snicker? You know what I mean, like a snicker trail, right? Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, and you got a little panty drop. Ooh, that's sexy. Very nice. Let's see. DIY Mortis for a heavenly cause. Okay. Um, we got some sexy legs, but then it becomes this kind of weird, abstract shape up top. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure that out. Let's see. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see it. I see it. I see it. So we have um, some heels right here, some legs, right? Uh, we have another heel right here, and then um, this is like a hair shape, right? Like, like we're. we're like you know, like a like a they have like a bob cut with a with some um, bangs right here. Yeah, I see now. At first it was a little confusing, but <clears throat> we got there, right? Yeah, heavenly cause. Yeah. Oh, we've reached the staple. All right, so this is kind of the midway point. <clears throat> Let's move on. Mortis birth sequence. Okay. Yeah, so um, I guess she's uh, she's uh, squirting out these little heads coming out, right? Um, got a little bit of drip right there, very sexy. She's wearing her like night, you know, uh, night gear. I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Nightgown. I was thinking of the word nightgown. There we go. That's that's what I was trying to figure out, right? Yeah. There we go. Birth el natural. Right. Very very nice. Let's see. Let's see. DIYs. It's me or the machine. You decide which is which. game okay so I guess is she a machine or is she not a machine I guess Let's see so this one says snap it says hot dude I'm like, okay dude yo you machine you're not dude but you hot dude okay yo she's sexy dude she got a little bit of you see the the nip a little the the nip slipping through that's very sexy right I love the Ashley Wood uh, ultra long legs right very very nice Very sexy. It's me or the machine? You decide which is which. I don't know, man. But, uh, let's see. I, I, I don't know what kind of choice this is, right? But I'll just say that uh, she's sexy, dude. And I would choose her. Right? I would choose her over the machine. Even though I don't think that's what the choice is over. Right? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Fuck for f fucking ever. For yep. Fuck for fucking ever. Dude. Let's see. We fuck Mortis FFE. Yeah, dude. So uh, obviously we have a uh, DIYs, which I guess is the audience, right? Uh, we have a beautiful Huemin right here, right? Um, she's placing her hand in certain places, right? And you see a little, whoop, you see a little, whoop, right here. Um, that's whatever you want it to be, dude. Okay, but I think, I think we all know what's going on right here, right? We all know what's going on. Very sexy, very Ashley Wood, yeah. And, uh, you know, I hope, uh, I hope you're happy, dude. I hope you're happy. Like I am with this product. There we go. 
Headball for My Mortis. Okay, let's look at the title. Headball. Okay. Uh, so I guess it's just some headless man, right? And he's delivering his head to uh, to uh, his to his mortis. Okay, which I guess maybe a word for females. DIY, DIY. Very nice. Let's see. Wonderful DIY, DIYs message to my princess. Nope, actually, my queen. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah. So we have um, we have the DIY. Uh, with his beautiful queen, right? She got the ragu out, right? She got the bouvets out, right? You know, and, and I'm sure he's very, very happy, you know? Just as we, the audience, are, right? This one is called Wonderful, right? Okay, all right. I'm gonna deal with my cat real quick. Okay, sorry about that. We are now back in action. Let's see. You said I was dead when I had just DIY'd. Thought he was dead, dude, but he was just doing it himself, dude. He was just doing it by himself. Okay. Heroic DIY poems. For those who uh, do it yourself. Oh, he's got a little. Ooh, he's got a little ooh, right there. Um, I guess maybe this is. He's asleep right now. You know, and he's uh, he's dreaming, right? Um, and the uh, the dream is coming out and telling him, "Do it yourself, dude. Do it yourself. Do it yourself, dude." Right? Yeah. Um, I really resonate with that. You know what I mean? I really resonate with that. Heroic pose. That's the title. Let's see. Manchester assault said ad. Okay. Red Devil Sham Manchester Assault includes uh, one six Mr. Bridger. I'm Mr. Bridger. I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Bridger. That's not, like it looks like a hand puppet. Uh, but I'm sure th this is probably like an ad for one of the one of his uh, figures right here uh, with a sexy sexy lady, you know, with uh, with some big old guns, you know, like tiny dude, uh, tail old as time, dude, right? A uh, hot girl with a with a weapon, dude. Always good, always great, dude. Okay, beautiful. Moto bene. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yo. Uh, we got a we got a thick. Okay, thick with like with with five C's. Okay, with fucking five C's. Damn, dude. Yo, here we go. Inane comments uh, regarding fucking uh, Rob OTS. Let's see. He never has to. Yes or ne never has to call because he he never leaves. That is what I was made for. Damn, bro. Dude, so uh, I think she, I think she's sitting on his face. Okay. Damn, dude. Yo. Can you imagine a woman like that, dude? Like, like, she'll kill you, man. She'll suffocate you, dude, in that ass, bro. Okay, but you know what, dude? Uh, robots don't breathe. Okay. And uh, it looks like that's what he was made for. Okay, to eat that ass out, bro. Damn. You know, any comments? Damn, bro. We go. We get some more uh, sexy robot on girl action. There you go. Oh, I love the feeling of cold metal fingers on my. Oh. Oh. Yo. Let's see. Great statements about and regarding robotic fucking and other li liaisons. Yep. Very very nice. Yeah. We got a ro robot. You know, pleasing. Uh, his master, right? Yeah. You know, not, what's there to explain? 
we understand what's going on right here. Okay, we know what's going on. Very sexy. This one's called Great Statements. That is uh, certainly a statement. Certainly a statement. Here we go. Let's see. That's my cat walking through. Don't worry about that. How they threw me to the wolves and I became their king. Let's see. I danced around and fell in love with you. Searching for wilderness, ruin, and seek. Yeah, so we got this beautiful woman right here. I'm assuming uh, she's their queen, right? And, um, you know, we become kings. Right. What, what what is this right here? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this is. Is it comes some kind of spaceship? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. Whatever. Just it's just some techno babble, right? Yeah. So uh, you know, we found we we uh, we found a queen, and she's uh she uh, fell in love with us, right? And we're like, and you know, dude. Uh, as a result, dude, we become king. Okay. Right, just like the, um, what's his name? Prince Phillips? No. The guy who married Elizabeth, who recently passed away, I can't remember his name. Yeah, but that guy, yeah. You know, found a woman who was queen and we married her. You know, I danced around, you know? I danced around and fell in love. That, that cat sung loud. Okay. I couldn't breathe. I was... I was, uh, suit scared. Huff, huff. They had fought in the Rigby Wars. Okay. The Vil Vilosad watched from afar. Vilosad, a cousin of the Nabor. Again, a very like you know a very Ashley Wood comic. You know what I mean? There's there's war, there's uh, some sex, right, and confusing dialogue. But you know how it is, right? That cat sung loud. Yeah, not too not too sure what's about. I think it's about voyeurism or something like that. I don't know. Here we go. Adventure Cartel comic page. Man on a cell phone. We got some. Uh, I think this is a uh, fighter Jesus, right? Or Jesus fighter? I can't remember his name. Um, he beat up these guys. He's piled them up, right? And then, um, oh, there's some zombies coming in. And they're like, oh, meat time, yo! And they're like, you know, and they got the little brain guys coming with them with the little. Oh, the little brain guys got fangs now. That's that's kind of cute. Here we go. Removalists, right? And Frau Ge Gehirns. Okay. The Meat Movers. Alright. I guess they're, uh, they're moving that shmeat, you know? They're trying to remove it from, uh, from your flesh, right? Nice. Oh, shit, bro. Damn, bro. Ooh. See, for like you guys, it's like the size of a screen, so it's like, you know, it's like it's cool, but like for me, it's like, ooh, like giant, dude. Like I'm getting like a whole Jesus, right? Here we go. So this one's called uh, Flowers and Heels, okay? Because uh, we got heels, dude, and we got some uh, flowers right here. You know, we got some flowers down here, too, right? Um, obviously, we have. Um, Two beautiful women in loving embrace, right? Um, uh, she's uh, giving her uh, a good time, right? You can see her face is kind of obscured, but right? I thought this is like some kind of hat, but it's not. It's just like, it's just some flowers on top, right? Um, but yeah, you know, they're having a good time, okay? They're having a good time, right? And because they're having a good time, we as the audience, okay, are also having a good time. 
very, very sexy. Very sexy and large. Okay, that's, uh, that's something I want to point out. Yeah, very, very nice. Again, the composition is all leading to, like, um, one section of the composition. Very, very nice. So much going on, there's so much texture going on right here. Very, very nice. Yeah, so we have like the texture of this chair, right? Um, differing from the texture on top of the clothing, right? Of the shadow, okay? And then on top of that, you get the flowers, which, you know, because this whiteout has its own texture, right? And so, like, there's like the interplay between these three textures, and I just really, really enjoy it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and of course the subject matter is very nice as well, right? But there's a there's a cool interplay between like the negative shapes versus the positive shapes. Right here, so you can see you can see how this like shadow of the shirt or whatever um, frames the body of the second girl right here. And you can see right here um, there's the boobe right here, you know. But it's all framed right here as like a negative shape. But sorry, it's framed by this negative shape. Very, very nice. Awesome. You got this kind of like weird rip thing right here. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Three, three A members only. Three double A gentlemen's club, Pasha, uh, wearing a black dress. Yep. Club Pasha. This is only for the exclusive 3M members, okay? Right. Um, once you once you uh, get that, dude, you get you get a little visit from uh, Pasha, dude. Right. And uh, you know you guys know Pasha, right? From the previous Ashley Wood books, right? Yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to become a, a 3AA member, right? There's uh, there's something waiting for you there, right? Remember that a cocktail Pasha's sale can end anytime and will. Do me like a cocktail party. Damn. You know, that's a request from Pasha herself, dude. She wants she wants to get treated like a cocktail party. She wants to get done like a cocktail party. Uh, what can I say, dude? What can I say to that, dude? Except for uh, of course, dude. Of course. But of course. Here we go. Carl Stein, you sniveling shit. Okay. Let's see. We have, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is Isabel Pasha. Yep, okay, so. Um, everyone drop their knickers and pay homage to my uh, Vag Pasha. My Vag Pasha. Carl Stein, you sniveling shit. Oh, and here's Lizbeth. Okay, obviously she's gotta she's gotta make an appearance as well. Right. Let's see. To my Vag Pasha is a better Pasha. Yeah, so she's just you know, um, like very in a very similar sense to uh, cock out, you know, right? She's going uh, vagu out. She's going vag out. You know, she's just like, fuck it, dude. Here it is, dude. Uh, display. Okay, right? And, uh, you know what, dude? I gotta respect that. Okay, I gotta respect, um, a woman who's just like, you know, dude? Uh, here's my pussy, dude. There it is, dude. You know, and, like, there's a... Not to say that, like, you know, we want that all the time, right? But, like, um, it's, it's subverting the, the, uh, the, the, uh, what is it called? Uh... The normal cock out, right? And she's going badge out, right? So, like I said, uh, very, very nice. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. I had a little technical issue, but we're back, right? Um, so, like I was saying before, right? Uh, we as the audience, you know, we appreciate uh, Ashley's work. We appreciate the Vagu, right? We all Ashley Wood fans are a lover of the Vagu, right? So, 
Uh, very, very nice addition. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, so continuing the, the sexiness of that page. Moving on to this one right here. So, let's see. Hot damn, those uh, crazy mortis. Okay. All right. So, uh, we got a beautiful Quimmin right here. All right. We got some uh, robots, right? And, uh, you know, they're showing her a good time right through the boot hole, right? Here's the Vagu, here's the boot hole, right? And uh, they're 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 going at it, dude. They're having a they're having a crazy good time, right? Yeah, a moment of ecstasy, as they would say, right? <clears throat> the title of this one is called "Hot Damn Mortis Getting Fucked by a Robot." Jesus, dude. Yeah. There's a there's there's not so, there's there's less subtlety in this one, I would say, right? I would say, right? There we go. Wow's <clears throat> yeah, definitely much less uh, subtlety, right? Yeah, as a as a woman is a uh, munching on right some uh, some vagu right some of the delicious vagu right um, an Italian uh, Italian pasta that not ma not many people know about okay uh, sorry uh, Italian sauce right very very nice right she's trying to she's trying to extract right from the source right. <laughs> Um, you know, she's doing a little taste test. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Ultimate Zing Ray. Okay. Um. I don't know, is it, is it like a joke maker? Uh, you know, it's just some, it's just some, what do you call it? Techno babble. You know how it is, right? go. Witch versus Train. So we got, oop, the sun's coming in. Uh, we got this powerful locomotive train. Um, and then we have a woman right here. And she's standing um, in a completely different perspective with uh, with her Nabbler in tow. Let's see. What's exactly? She gotta get on the train. Let's see the the something I think sweet, like a like a honey. Yeah. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like oh she gotta get rammed? You know what I mean? Is this a is this a fallacious uh, analogy right here? Probably. No, yeah, she would probably. Oh, cats are fighting. Alright, nice. And we're at the end right here. Okay. So this one says, time to go. See you next time. Yep. Uh, she's, uh, they're, they're saying goodbye. Nabbler, you know, and, and uh, Ashley Wood, beautiful woman, right? Was called See You Next Time. And then we end on a, on one of Ashley Wood's beautiful heels, right? Very, very nice. Awesome work. Right. And then uh, here we go. We get to see the back right here, which is um, another one of his uh, characters, right? This is the, the, the like skull astronaut guy, right? This was. Produced by IDW, very very nice, well made, okay, All right. Um, but yeah, very very nice. Let's uh, let's flip this book over, into the review portion, right? No side view. I mean, there's a side view, but it's, you know, it's just a flat thing. Right? There you go. All right, guys, let us enter the review portion for Ashley Woods. Uh, we call it uh, glitter sausage, okay. All right. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! Before we before we do that, right? I want to show you guys the envelope that it came in, right? That's that's <clears throat> a part of this book, right? So, um, and we get a we get a special drawing from that, right? So let's take a look at that. Very, very nice, very sexy. Okay. Oh my glitter, right? Uh, we got a beautiful woman, right? And uh, and her uh, robot companion, you know, and they're they're. They're having fun, they're having a good time, right? You know? 
yeah, very, very nice. Right, I might use this as my uh, thumbnail, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, and as you can see on the back, I put some tape because I use this as a, as a poster, right? Very nice. <clears throat> but yeah, so, um, this book, right, I think... I think it might be on sale for maybe like 40 to 60 bucks, right? Um, it's a very, very nice book. If you're, if you're, if you're an Ashley Wood fan, um, I could easily recommend getting this book because unlike most of Ashley Wood's book, this book is, it's got the size, right? So there's a, there's kind of a novelty to it in, in that regard, right? Um, and you know, the images are nice, right? And seeing them printed big is very, very, um, it feels good. It, it, you get, it feels like you get to see what the drawings actually uh, look like in terms of size, right? Because I can imagine, you know, Ashley just having, you know, a thing and he's drawing at this size, right? Yeah. So yeah, any Ashwood fan, um, I think it would be an easy purchase for you. Um, for regular people, um, maybe, like, if you've never experienced Ashley Wood's work before, um, maybe you should get a different book because this book, though it is really, really nice and really, really nice size, it doesn't have that many images, okay? Right? It just, it's not that widespread. So I think this is definitely for more for Ashley Wood fans, right? But if you guys are if you're curious and you like the size and you like the drawings in here and you like what we just saw, um, yeah, I'd say go for it. You know what I mean? Ashley Wood's uh, books, they, get, they only get more expensive with time. So if you guys can find a really, really good price, I recommend you, you, you grab it, pick up yourself a copy, and hopefully it won't be too much, right? But, you know, you know how the art book market is. It, it always goes back and forth, so, you know what I mean, right? Um, but yeah, I think with that, we can end the video here, guys. Please uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, uh, leave a comment, tell me how you guys feel about Ashley Wood's uh, glitter sausage, right? Do you like the size, right? Um, do you like the content, right? God, well, of course you like the content, right? Um, ring that bell for notification. Uh, check, check out my prints and my Patreon in the link below if you want to support the channel. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.